Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kara. I'm a homeschooling mom to two kids ages 12 and 9. They are heading into 7th grade and 4th grade. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about our schedule for the upcoming year. We're kind of doing things a little differently this year. I'm a little nervous for it. So I thought I'd um, kind of show you what I have planned and talk through a little bit of it um, with you and maybe you can give me some ideas or um, a pep talk, <laughs> either one. So I started here with our schedule for the year. And um, so pretty much I have our summer school marked on there, which is this month in July. Um, in green, I marked off any weeks we're taking off. So when we finish summer school, we're taking two weeks off. Our first day will be August 19th. Um, and then we've got, uh, two weeks off at Christmas, uh, two weeks off in April, which is like over my kids' birthdays. Um, I marked birthdays on here. Um, I marked the semesters. So first semester will go through December 22nd. And then the second semester will go through, when is our last day? May 23rd. So we'll see, this is like in a perfect world if everything goes right and people don't get sick and like all of that. Um, but typically what happens for us is um, sometimes my husband will work on the weekends but he'll be off during the week and I've just found it's really hard for us to do school when he's home. So if say he's off on a Monday and we don't do school, we just, our week starts Tuesday and we go through Saturday or something. So we just typically make adjustments like that. If we have to take a day off during the week, we just work in the weekend on the weekend. So um, anyway, so this is kind of our year at a glance and fingers crossed that goes well. Um, over here, so my kids, we're not doing, we are doing group work this year, but we are doing most of it on Fridays. And so for my kids, like individual subjects, those are mostly Monday through Thursday. Um, I'm worried that it's a lot, but I kind of in my head put a number of minutes to every subject that I think they'll have to do. And I, I think it's reasonable. Um, so for my fourth grader, he will have, uh, math, literature, science and history. Um, science is actually three days a week. There's a third one here. History is two days a week. He'll have Social studies, in addition to history, he'll have social studies two days a week and health two days a week. He'll have vocabulary four days a week. He'll do fix-it grammar four days. Um, he'll do typing one day, piano one day, art one day, cooking, that's his elective one day, cursive one day, writing one day, and his ADHD workbook one day. So the things that are highlighted in yellow are the things that I have to lead. So fix-it grammar, I like to do the first day of the week with them. So that's in yellow, just so I kind of know. Normally math would be one I would be needed for. Um, and I, I'll be here when they're doing all of these subjects. So it's not like they're doing these on their own. Um, but because he's doing fifth grade math and he did fifth grade math with confidence last year, this year he's doing fifth grade math mammoth, just to solidify things for him. Um, I don't think that he's gonna need me to do a full lesson with him. So that's why that's not really highlighted, but this is subject to change, so. Um, we will see. So that's kind of what his week looks like. And then Friday, I put Friday work in group subjects. So oh, I forgot to get them out. Just a second. Both of my kids will have, um, a Friday, um, workbook. And... So this, on Fridays, before we do our group work, they'll each have some work in here. So like my son will have this comic math to do. He'll have um, this, um, what was this called? It's like critical thinking, uh, mind benders to do. And then this is where I put like his word warrior stuff um, or I think later in the year it is the vocabulary that I got from curriculum and culture. Right? Yeah. 
So pretty much he'll have like three things he does in his um, Friday work. And my daughter's is similar. She'll be doing the Evan Moore daily math. She'll just be doing like front and back, which is like four days. But she'll just do that on Fridays. That's the only math she'll do on Fridays. She also has the mind benders. And then I have her reading from the desk of Zoe Washington for part of it. Then I have her doing some of the brain food from uh, Hearth and Story, I think I have in here somewhere. Yeah. So on Fridays, that's what they'll do is they'll just do this and then we'll do um, our group work. And then for hers, so fix it grammar, again, I wanna do with her on the first day. Her math is still teacher led because it's math with confidence, so I need to do the lesson each day. Her ADHD workbook, she's doing Latin two days a week, so I will do that with her. And then everything else she has, writing is IEW, um, lightning lit, vocabulary, fix it grammar, those are all four days. Three days a week she'll do science, and then two days a week she'll do history. She also has piano one day, art one day, and her handicraft is sewing. I forgot to change that. Um, so that's kind of what her individual schedule looks like. What I'm most worried about is that all of this is going on at the same time at our kitchen table. And I think that sometimes it's hard to concentrate when if I'm giving a math lesson to one kid and the other kid is working on you know, their health, are they gonna be able to focus? Now we have noise canceling like headphones that they can put on and they are always welcome to go to another room to do their work, but they tend to not want to. So um, I'm just worried about the flow. That's um, These are not written in any particular order and I kind of hesitate to do that because I want them to have the ability to choose the subject that's right for where their brain is in that moment. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of what that looks like. And then for our group subjects, I'm also a little worried that I maybe overplanned this, but um, this is probably gonna be hard to see, but basically I laid out the year in two semesters and I put in all the things I wanna do to make sure that there is room to do them. So I have a morning read aloud and an evening read aloud. Um, the evening one will be done after school time, like before bed. And those are the fiction, the novels from Torchlight Level 4 that I wanted to do. Not all of them, but the ones that I wanted to do. Plus, I added in uh, one of my own selections for like election, when we're doing our election study. Um, our morning read aloud is a nonfiction book. And um, so I've got three that I want to get through. So those I've kind of gone through and figured out how much we would need to read each um, each week. And I can't remember if these are every day or if this is just Friday. I'm not sure. And then here we have some of, like, Game Logic was from Torchlight Level 4, so I kind of scheduled that out. And then we're going to do Power of the People. So when we're done with Game Logic, that time slot will, Power of the People will take over there. And it will go into the second semester. And then I have philosophy and ethics. Again, this is from Torchlight Level 4. So let's see, this is big ideas. So that will take us into the second semester and then we'll switch over to Short and Curly Guide to Life to finish out the year with. We're doing our creative writing unit. We're starting with how to write a children's picture book for the first semester. I've left some space here at the end um, because I, we might need it for them to work on like their final picture book that they're working on. And then when we get into the second semester, we're working on how to write a chapter book before you turn 13. And again, I left space at the end um, for them to finish that up. And then lastly, for a group subject, um, I'll link our group subjects video, but we are doing, we're starting the year with our election study and then we're moving into our 50 states study and then you can kind of see at the bottom here I have on deck family history I need two weeks to do family history uh, a unit that I want to do and I think that I can fit it in in one of these places but um, I want to I want to make sure I don't want to like try to squeeze it in when we really don't have enough time um, so if for some reason I don't end up fitting it in um, we'll do it in the summer 
And then I have Fit In as Appropriate. These are two books that I think are gonna go with our theme really well. Um, but I'd rather, rather than just read them cover to cover, like on a schedule, I'd rather pull them out when they relate to maybe one of the novels we're reading or one of the philosophy or ethics books um, that we're doing or something like that. So I have that on there to kind of remind myself. So um, that is how our family subjects are looking. Um, we typically do school Monday through Thursday, well, Monday through Friday. But like I said, this year is gonna be a little different where um, Friday they aren't gonna have a lot of independent or individual work, they'll just have their um, Friday notebooks and then the rest will be group work. Um, so I'm hoping that that all fits in. I feel like I'm kind of entering this year a little bit blindly and I'm, I'm, I don't know how things are gonna work. Um, I'm also worried about how much they have per day. But like I said, I kind of went through and put minutes to everything of like how many minutes I, th I think each thing is going to take and I think it will be okay. Um, but we'll see. So that is kind of our plan for our schedule. My kids each have a planner that I will be writing in for them. Um, and I think it's going to be a little, we're going to have to try it and see how the year goes. And then I may have to make adjustments. But for whatever reason, I'm more nervous about this year than I have been in previous years. And I think that's because they're both doing so much individual work and we're doing less group work. So I don't know, but tell me your thoughts. Um, I will talk to you down in the comments.